welcome back. As you continue on in your journey with Tristan, remember, this podcast is loosely based on my book series, Majoring in Me. And you can get book one of the series, Majoring in Me Acceptance, on Amazon today. Tristan, just pick something out. It's not like Kendrick hasn't seen you before. But who am I kidding? I want to look good for my man. Actually, come to think of it, is he my man? How have we been sneaking around for a week after that kiss and we've never talked about what all that means? Maybe I should be glad we haven't gone all the way just yet. We have some stuff to figure out. Oh no, Mr. Garrison, I'm still not ready to talk to your ass. I know I can't ignore him for four years at Hamilton, but for now, I'm just not ready. What time is it anyway? Shit, Denise and Kendrick will be here any minute. I'll wear this with this and these shoes. And there we have it. It's like I speak these moments up. Let me at least put some pants on. Just a second. Hey, Kendrick. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that you're not dressed? So you got time for jokes, but not a hello. I remember that. <laughs> Yo, relax. I didn't say I mind it. In fact, you know the least amount of clothes you got on the better. Oh, really? Really? Oh my gosh, this man's lips. Pause. Denise will probably be over here any minute. Well, she's not here this minute, so... So, she could be. And you know, I haven't told her anything about whatever this is between us. All right, fine. You know I'm all about keeping our business our business, though. But if and when you decide to tell her, I support it. That's big of him, especially knowing what I know about his ex situation. And since I already opened the door, I wonder if now's a good time to get some clarity as to what we are. I'm glad you support it, but question for you. What would I tell Denise exactly? I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. Are you? Jeez, I hope I don't sound like some type of clinger well, I mean, we kicking it, right? I guess, but what does kicking it mean? Honestly, does it mean we kiss a little, play a little, and when the time comes, have sex a little? And is he allowed to kick it with other people? Am I? Kicking it means we getting to know each other romantically. I'm focused on you right now. I don't want anybody else. I ain't checking for nobody else. I hope you feel the same way. But if you don't, just just tell me. He's really trying to make me feel like I'm in love and basketball or brown sugar or some type of movie. He didn't say we're in an official relationship, but I'm vibing with what he's saying. I definitely feel the same way, Kendrick. We're kicking it. Kicking it is good. Yeah, it is. Now, how long are you going to keep pretending like you don't want to come kiss me? Huh? Well, who said I was pretending? Oh, that's how it is? Now, you know that's not how it is, but that's how it's going to be. I'm not going to kiss you. And there's a reason why. Just a second. Now, pass me that shirt behind you and open the door, please. <sighs> okay. Thank you. What's up, Denise? I'm glad to see you're ready. Um, thank you? <laughs> He's just trying to be funny. Give me a second to put my shoes on and grab my jacket, and I'll be ready, too. <laughs> okay. I still don't know about this, Tristan. I do. We're going to Howard's Yard Fest, and we're going to have a good time. Today, we aren't going to talk about he who shall not be named. <laughs> You're right. It's my first time going to HU's homecoming, and I'm going to enjoy myself. Forget that asshole. Exactly. Now, let's go. Bet. If this is what an HBCU homecoming is like, I should have definitely went to one. Although, tuition wouldn't have been free. Okay, so forget that. But it's incredible out here. Being at Hamilton, I almost forgot how beautiful this many Black people are in one place. Okay, maybe coming to Yarfus was a good idea. See, I told you. <laughs> Did you see what that one Q strolling was doing with his tongue? Uh, the short one in front? Yeah, how could I miss him? His little fine ass. Right? 
and I don't even do short guys, but whew. It's funny to talk to Denise so openly about men. We've never really done that before. And it's even weirder because I just had that talk with Kendrick. I still only want him, but heck, fine is fine. And a whole lot of guys out here are fine. Maybe I should be glad Kendrick is in line getting that fish plate and can't really hear me. But Denise, do you see that guy over there? Which one? If you have to ask, you didn't see. (laughs) Where am I looking? Over there behind the Sigma clock. Oh, well, dang. He's definitely, he's... Right. What's right? Where the heck did he pop up from? Well, let's hope your fish plate is. Shit, it better be. It took forever to get. Yeah, it did. I hope it doesn't take that long to get my lemonade. I'm thirsty. Y'all want something? Yeah, give me one too. Me too. Okay, I'll be back. Oof, if only the school was free. Well, damn. Oh, my fault. Wait, Jordan? Hey, I didn't know you were coming up here. Uh, hey, Tristan. Yeah, I thought I'd see what's about. His 15-year-old ass seems a little young to be up here, though. You here with friends or something? Well, me and my best friend rode up here together. All right, cool. Where's the friend? Um, he just went to find a bathroom. I'm sure he'll be right back. Hmm, this sounds a little sketchy, but it's not like I'm his parent, so I can't tell him to go home. On the other hand, isn't it my duty as a big brother to keep my eyes out on him? Look, I'm not trying to be a helicopter over you while you're here. I just ask you be careful, and if you need anything, call me. Okay, thanks. Um, see ya. Tristan, I hope you did the right thing. All right now, I see the Sigma's out here, and I'm not mad at it. (laughs) I bet you aren't. Are you hating? Never that. I'll give them their props. Mm-hmm. So I just got a text from one of my friends back home, and she said she's almost up here. I know we've been here for two hours already, but do you mind if we stay a little longer? That's a switch for someone who didn't even really want to come. I'm cool. Kendrick, you good? I'm cool. I'm having a good time. Then that's that. Now, if only I could find Jordan. I know what I told him about being a helicopter, but shit, I haven't seen him since he walked off, and he hasn't answered any of my texts. Hey, I'll be right back. You good? Yeah, I've just got to check on something real quick. Uh, All right, then. Now, Jordan, where are you? Is that him? Nope. Okay. As beautiful as seeing my people has been, I just remembered I hate crowds. Is that him? Yep, sure is. Why is he standing by himself again? Where's his friend? Jordan, glad to see you're still good. You know I sent you a few text messages. Oh, hey, my bad. I forgot to respond. I mean, I didn't want anything, really. I just wanted to make sure you were okay. But where's your friend? Um, he, he's around. Well, besides looking alike, it's now also clear that Jordan and I have something else in common. If no one told you, you don't really lie that well. But neither do I. Now, what's really going on? Uh, okay. Um, I don't know what to say. I get we just officially met, but you're my brother. So you can tell me anything. I'm just trying to have you back, really. And actually, before we do talk, uh, let's walk a little further away so I can hear you. That's cool. All right, shoot. So, truthfully, there's no friend. I took the bus in the metro here to meet someone. Um, meet who? Can I tell you a secret? Yeah, of course. I I haven't exactly told mom and dad, or really anyone, but I'm pretty sure I'm gay. You're kidding me. So not only do we look alike, but he's also a bad liar and he's gay? What the hell are the odds? So, you said pretty sure. 
Do you have any doubts that you're gay? Nope. None. There's zero chance I like girls. I'm gay gay. I don't know why I said pretty sure. Fair enough. I'm gay gay myself. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Very. Just to my mom, actually, a few months ago. Man, that's crazy. How did she take it? She's still taking it. Um, she hasn't disowned me or anything and still loves me and treats me the same for the most part. But I think she's in a bit of denial. She keeps asking me if I met any nice girls while I'm up here. But wait, before we get too far off track, what's the truth about you coming up here? Oh, yeah. Well, I came to meet this boy I met online. What the hell? Why do I feel like I'm suddenly an episode of Smart Guy or something? Bro, please tell me you weren't trying to meet someone you just met on the internet. It's not like that. Well, tell me, what's it like? We originally connected on MySpace about three months ago, but then we started Skyping about a month ago. So I've been seeing him on video. He's real. He looks like his MySpace profile. And today was the day we were going to meet in person, but he didn't show. Oh, man. I'm sorry you got stood up. Maybe his parents wouldn't let him out. Thanks, but that's not really an excuse. He's a sophomore here. Hold the hell up. You're 15 in high school. Is this boy one of those super smart and young sophomores in college? Nah, he's a 20-year-old sophomore. 20? He's a grown-ass man. Before you say it, it's only five years. Yeah, but those five years make a difference at your age. I have to wonder why a 20-year-old wants to talk to a boy still in high school. Damn, Tristan. I know you're new to this big brother thing, but this peck talk is starting to go left. <laughs> I promise I'm not trying to play you. You're a handsome guy with a great personality. I guess I'm just a little skeptical of this man because he's legal and, well, you're not. Plus, you met him online. Okay, I can understand that. I have to admit, I wondered that a little bit too at first. But he said I was the youngest guy he's ever tried to talk to. He said I was special. I still don't like this grown-ass man or the situation. My spidey senses are telling me he's a creep. Look, I hear you. So let me ask this. Besides standing you up, has he done anything else that made you raise an eyebrow? Well, it's not a big deal or anything, so don't flip out. But three weeks ago, after talking on MySpace, he sent me a picture of his, you know, of his thing thing. Yeah. I didn't ask for it either. He just sent it. God, you definitely could have eased me into this big brother thing. But um, I'll deal with it. Please tell me you didn't send him any pictures back. No, nah, I didn't. He asked, but it didn't feel right. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's good you went with your gut instincts. So... I get I'm not your mom or your dad, and I haven't known you that long, but my gut instincts are telling me to warn you not to pursue anything else with this guy. I'm seeing red flags all over the place. You might be right. He hasn't even hit me yet to tell me he's coming or if he's on the way. Right. So let's move on from him and find you someone more reliable. A younger. <laughs> all right, I got you. And please don't look for this new young guy on MySpace. Tristan, where am I supposed to meet this guy? It's not like I can officially come out the closet yet. Even if I were, it's not like I could just go to my guys at school or my neighborhood and start flirting. Not with the type of guys I like anyway. And I'm too young for sites like Adam for Adam and BGC. BGC and Adam for Adam? What is he even talking about? Are these gay dating sites or something? And if they are, how does this boy know about them before me? I'm older. I guess it really doesn't matter what they are because the fact still remains. I don't know how a closeted gay teenager meets other closeted gay teenagers without risking self-exposure or worse. Shit, I just accepted that I was gay like yesterday. And at his age, I was still allegedly straight. How about we table where you should look for now and you just come hang out with me and my friends for a bit. Then I'll drop you off at home. And I do mean drop off. I'm not getting out of the car. <laughs> that would be great. And trust me, I understand not wanting to step foot in that house again. Good deal. 
Just one thing. Where do your parents think you are right now? They know I'm here, but they think I'm with my best friend. But I had to be home before 11.30. Got ya. Well, I'm definitely not planning to be here that long, so that works. Now, let's walk back. Tristan, this could be a good thing. Brotherly bonding. Just have to figure out how to explain to Kendrick and Denise I have a brother in the area that I've never mentioned without revealing Mr. Garrison is my dad. Okay, there's Kendrick and Denise. The other girl must be Denise's friend. Oh, Kendrick. He looks kind of fun. I know. He's also mine. So, <laughs> hands off. <laughs> All right, noted. Hey, thanks for checking out Major to Me. If you like what you heard, make sure you've subscribed and share the podcast with your friends. Also, head on over to according to t.com where you can get some unbiased and unfiltered advice on dating, relationships, and life, all while remaining anonymous. Thanks again, and until next time, this is Tavion Scott.